Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I saw a lot of comments asking us about a project and um, it's not really a secret. It's not my project, therefore I never really covered it. But since you guys keep asking so politely, I will go ahead and fill you in on this truck that's been sitting in this far. Now, if you guys don't remember, this used to be where the DDP truck was um, once we gave that back. Again, uh, the DDP truck went back to Idaho to Lenny um, for a few different reasons. But mainly the thing was is I wanted to do it in my own truck. Um, I wanted to do it where no one could say that I got handed nothing. Um, and that was really that was really the biggest reason why is I just I wanted something that I did. Um, you know, that was my truck. So anyway, uh, we got, we moved the DDP truck out and we brought this thing in. Now, originally it had bedsides, doors on it and everything. Um, David, this is David's truck. He bought it off of McCoy Black out of, I think, North Carolina, one of the Carolinas. Um, and he bought it not quite the way it sits, but this is now how it sits. Uh, Young's Fabrication did a lot of the work. Uh, this truck is back half and what we mean by that is if you look the factory frame stops at the back half and then he's got a two liter chassis uh, all the way back and then obviously it has a four link um, and then this here instead of so a lot of the four links that you'll see in diesel are courtesy of the firepunk uh, group again nothing wrong with the firepunk four link they use a pan hard bar the pan hard bar goes from the frame to the axle and think of it as almost like a track bar. Uh, David's truck is done with a wishbone. Uh, wishbones are definitely stronger, but they are a little bit more complicated to set up, uh, but they do handle the horsepower better um, on the big, big power stuff. Now, again, um, the Firepunk 4-Link for most trucks it is fine. The wishbone's kind of a little bit extra, um, a lot I mean, pro street trucks will have it, but most of the 590 guys run a pan hard bar. Uh, again, I'm not a chassis expert. These are just the things that I've been told, but this is obviously the platinum package. The pan hard bar, again, good enough for most trucks. And even some of the ones that have wishbones, they should have, they could have ran a pan hard bar. But anyway, you guys can see a, a lot of stuff. We got a parachute mount here on um, the fuel cell, which is right there. Uh, sits up here and then it has two lift pump mounts. I think originally this truck had fasts on it. Obviously, it will have um, air dogs once we put it back together. Uh, we have coilovers in the rear. Obviously, leaf springs are gone. Here's a here's the coilovers. They're AFCO dual adjustables. Uh, these are the rear coilovers here and the front coilovers are over there. Now, since David has had this truck, uh, I'll be honest, uh, I've kind of stayed away from this project for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first one is, I don't really fit in this truck, so therefore I'll never get to use this truck. Therefore, my motivation to work on it, hmm, I'll be honest, not quite there. And then, you guys already know me, like, I, I'm not, I don't have a lot of time. Um, and the time I do have, I like to dedicate to my own personal stuff. Um, and, you know, most of this work that would need my help is already done for david he bought it that way um the only thing that we're going to be helping him with on this project is the turbo fabrication uh i told him i would build him a set of compounds uh so this will uh eventually get a set of compounds on it now to be honest with you david wants to race this truck in 590 he wants to do a whole season of odss with 590 uh and that is his goal so I don't know how big the turbos are or anything. I just know it's getting a new performance auto deck plate, uh, one of R48 RE transmissions put in it. And then besides that, it's an 849 truck with a standalone. Um, I do know he bought a lot of stuff off Nick Bell 
uh, when Nick decided to go to Motec. So he has a bunch of race pack things. You guys can kind of see we have some nitrous over here, catch cans, a lot of the billet fire pump engine brackets. We have his transmission cooler here. These are obviously his doors. Uh, we have a new radiator, intercooler. And the nice part about this truck, for the most part, it uses factory location. So his intercooler, the little fingers will hang here. Uh, he's got this nice top part for the intercooler radiator stack. Um, and then this truck also has a front clip. Uh, I think David took it home so it didn't get broken, but it does have a front clip, fiberglass bedsides, fiberglass doors. Uh, as far as the brakes, it's using all factory stuff. And then it has this Willwood uh, proportioning valve here uh, that you adjust. Still has the factory steering, but we did get rid of the factory uh, steering column. You guys could see here we used a strange steering wheel with a um, Tim McCamus uh, steering wheel kit. And then we had to create this mount here. Which again, uh, Brandon did a lot of this work. I helped out just when needed. But again, I've, I've tried not to do too much on this project. Mostly just because it's it's a total time suck on me. And uh, I just, I'm not interested in it. Like this truck's too far gone for me. If you can't sub pull it, I don't care about it. So, uh, Brandon cut this out. This, they have to the fiberglass. We have all of the optic armor windows for it. Uh, this is just an 850 cage truck. I know it's a little confusing. I'm not sure what they're going for, but uh, there's no way that this could be turned into a 25.6, I believe, uh, with how they did it and the material that they used. I could be wrong, but it does have some pretty nice dash fab here. Um, and then you guys see all the tabs. Brandon is going to be putting some uh, carbon fiber uh, inlays over there for... Just kind of making it look nicer. Brandon did coat this entire thing. Um, but yeah, guys, that's, that's kind of the gist of this truck. And just some of the close-ups here. You guys can see we have some adjustable uh, stock location um, control arms here. Uh, this does use a factory crossover steering, factory track bar. You guys can clearly see by the AAM logo. This is a factory uh, 925 front axle found in your third gen pickup trucks factory steering box um and then as you go back here this is again a factory rear end uh with the four link adjustable this is where david's battery is going to be and uh yeah nothing too too crazy um that's why i've never really talked about it that's why i've just kind of let it hang out in the background i just like i said I, i'm not that interested in it it's Dave's truck. It's his project. I just, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to have a ton of stuff to do on the quad cab this off season. That will be kicking off here pretty shortly. Um, big, big news on that. Got a big surprise for y'all. I just, I've been filming it slowly and you guys will see it uh, when it's done. That should be, it'll be either right before Christmas or right after Christmas. There'll be a huge quad cab update video, but uh, I know a lot of you guys want to see what's going on in the shop. So I'm going to go ahead and kick that over when it's a little bit warmer outside. And I'll take you guys outside. David's truck's still sitting here. Uh, we're just finishing up this engine swap on this six liter here. These all have to go back. Not very exciting. Uh, this is the motor going to Idaho. It gets picked up tomorrow. We have a wp development 650 horsepower 68 rfe going in this truck here we also <clears throat> moving outside we have a 59 mega cab that is here for a engine <clears throat> uh, we're waiting for the machine work on that we have a potential p-pump swap and then everyone everyone always wants to know what's at the shop so <clears throat> we'll just go through the parking lot here this truck is a local guy, Matt Hicks's truck. It's here for a 48 RE full manual valve body. Uh, we're taking a fire pump comp one, turning it into a pretty nasty transmission. Um, so that is getting a full manual. This one, we did a Transgo shift kit in hopes to help a customer save some money. And unfortunately they do in fact need a full Allison transmission. This gentleman came from West Virginia uh, we are doing a 
pulling his engine out, new pistons, new cam, street fighters. We're building a pretty nasty compound setup. It'll be a 467 or 472 with a 488 or 485, excuse me. Uh, and it'll stay a 68 truck. So this one should be pretty, pretty awesome. This was a 03 excursion. Been to a few shops, a lot of parts cannoned, and it ended up being the high pressure oil pump. And uh, I have no shame. Uh, Mitch with Driftless Diesel did come in clutch on a couple of Diags. Uh, and we got this one fixed, ready for pickup. Another 03 six liter. And again, it had been to quite a few shops. So this guy traveled, I think it was like three hours. Yeah, he's from West Virginia too. Uh, and his ended up being an H-pop with some tuning problems. We got that fixed. We got a UPS delivery here coming in clutch. Uh, we have this second gen that came in for some transfer case work and an air dog. And look, look at this, even, even everything just gets five Gs out here. So we got a five G on it. Same story. I, we're not even sure who owns this truck at this point. Uh, CCV problems, motor problem, H pop problem. That's Clay's truck. This 2011 six, seven is getting a, at least a cylinder head and a piston, maybe more. Not sure on this one. This one needs some injectors. So, all right, now that you guys have seen, you know, kind of what's going on in the shop, the things that we're working on, the projects that we have coming up. Um, I hope all of you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving. Uh, this video is going up on Wednesday, just before Thanksgiving. Remember guys, spend time with your family, your friends, uh, hopefully you enjoy the food. If you're not a turkey person, hopefully you substituted it with something else. But I know I'm going to spend some time with my family. And like I said, guys, during the holiday season, the videos are just going to slow down a little bit. I'm trying to recoup, gain some momentum for next year. Um, and we have some really big plans. I hope you guys are excited. Um, give this one a big thumbs up. Drop your comments down below. Again, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoyed the time with your loved ones. And, uh, Subscribe if you are not already, and as always, I'll catch y'all on the next one.